Hi there guys, I hope you have had a good day. Now, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury obviously met one another while in Marbella, but there was kind of a bit of back and forth about what they said. What did they say? And Anthony Joshua explained that Tyson Fury told him, don't lose to Kubrat Pulev. And Anthony Joshua answered him by saying, don't be silly. Then Tyson Fury asked about Alexander Usyk. Do you have to fight Alexander Usyk? And interestingly enough, this was Anthony Joshua's response. Look, Tyson, when me and you get a fight together, we don't have to worry about Usyk. See you next year. So does that mean that Usyk is being pushed aside? Does that mean that maybe the WBO belt is being binned off by Anthony Joshua so that he can fight Tyson Fury instead? Which means it wouldn't be undisputed, but it would be for number one. So it is likely that this fight is going to go ahead no matter what happens. That is the plan. Whether there is a mandatory in the way, that mandatory will be paid off to push aside, or the belt may be binned off. We don't know at the moment, but ultimately we know that this fight is more important for both of these fighters than mandatories. Does that mean also maybe Dillian White is out of the picture? Does that mean that maybe Tyson Fury is vacating or possibly becoming a franchise champion? meaning that he cannot lose that title. So does that mean that maybe we are getting undisputed instead of those two mandatories, Dillian White for Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk for Anthony Joshua? Now, they both have one fight anyway that they are guaranteed to be fighting. AJ Pulev, obviously, and Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, three. Those fights are happening, no matter what. So those fights are the ones that they have to come through before even talking about undisputed. Obviously, financials have been agreed, and maybe there is something there already sorted for these mandatory positions and their challengers. And I can see how they can maybe push Alexander Usyk aside. I cannot see, though, how they are going to push Dillian White aside. It's not fair. 1,000 days as a number one ranked challenger or number one ranked by the WBC. How is that right? He needs to have his opportunity. So there's going to be some way in which. Dillian White gets his shot because he will enforce that position. He has already taken legal action against the WBC. And that just tells us that Dillian White is not playing around anymore. He's not going to beat around the bush. He wants his opportunity and he will enforce his opportunity and position as number one challenger to WBC champion in February 2021. And I guess the question that comes along with that is what is happening with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 3? If it happens in December, how the hell is Tyson Fury or the winner of that fight? Tyson Fury, going to be ready for February 2021. They're not going to be. So does that mean that that fight could happen in April? Does that mean that Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury then happens in even if Tyson Fury wins? Because that's no given against Dillian White. But ultimately, does that mean that that fight then happens in, what, August? Maybe September? Meaning that there will not be two fights between possibly Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury next year. And that is what they are talking about. They're not talking about having one fight next year, then one fight the year after that. No, they're not talking about that. They're talking about having two fights next year. And Anthony Joshua often only fights twice a year. Once a year this year, he's only going to fight once in this calendar year. And Tyson Fury will be fighting twice. So Tyson Fury is fighting twice this year. Anthony Joshua often fights twice a year. So Undisputed happening twice in 2021 means that mandatories are being dealt with and pushed aside perhaps so this undisputed fight can happen because as I said before Anthony Joshua explained that Alexander Usyk is not something they have to worry about if undisputed happens and we know this because Anthony Joshua has confirmed this himself by saying Usyk is not a problem as long as Tyson Fury and him fight so Usyk has to fight Derek Chisora next. That will possibly be in October, I believe, maybe a bit later. So that fight will likely happen around the similar sort of time when Anthony Joshua fights Kubrat Pulev, probably before it, but a similar amount of time. So does that mean that Usyk maybe gets to fight someone else? Does that mean that Usyk is going to enforce his position? He said he's going to. Usyk did say that he's stepping aside now so Anthony Joshua can deal with his IBF mandatory, Kubrat Pulev, so Usyk's fighting Derek Chisora. Is he going to do it again? He says, no, Usyk is not going to wait. He's going to enforce his position as a WBO mandatory after the Chisora fight, provided he wins. 
which is not going to be an easy fight for him. But still, obviously Usyk is planning on winning that fight. So if he comes through Chisora, then he's going to enforce his position as WBO mandatory to Anthony Joshua. In addition to that, there is also the problem of Dillian White. He is mandatory to Tyson Fury, must have his shot by February 2021. Likely that will be pushed back due to coronavirus and all of that. And the fact that Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 cannot happen until December, even if it happens then. Although Shelley Finkel, Deontay Wilder's manager, did say that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder will fight for a third time this year. So that fight is happening this year but that being said it will be at the tail end of this year meaning that february is not going to be plausible for tyson fury to be fighting dillian white so that fight will likely take place in april maybe early may anyway and that's even if the fight happens because as i said there is some way in which these two fighters aj and tyson fury believe they will be fighting after the deontay world fight after the pula fight straight away two fights in 2021 the first one likely in June, I believe, maybe the next one in November, December, or possibly a bit different from that. Maybe May is the first one, but ultimately that is the plan of these two fighters. Mandatories, no mandatories. Maybe they're going to drop belts. Maybe they're going to push them aside. Maybe Tyson Fury becomes franchise champion. Maybe Usyk waits. Maybe Usyk gets the fight for the vacant WBO world title, or possibly the WBO refuse to strip Anthony Joshua because they would rather have their title on the line in an undisputed fight as opposed to in a vacant title fight two or three weeks before or after this mega fight. So it's up to the WBO. What do they want their belt to represent? Undisputed, an undisputed champion, one face, one name, or be fought for in a vacant title fight that no one really cares about because obviously the bigger fight is Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. At this point, we don't know. We don't know as much as the fighters know, as much as the promoters know. But what is interesting is Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua both believe that they will be fighting one another after their next respected fights. No mandatories in the way. And I'm guessing there is some way in which they are going to get around those fights, meaning we get undisputed next year, meaning that this mega fight is finally going to happen. But I guess the worry is that it is at the expense of Dillian White. I'm not really that worried about Alexander Usyk because he's been undisputed champion at Cruiserweight. Yes, he needs his opportunity. He's mandatory. He deserves to have his shot at the champion. But you cannot say he deserves it more than Dillian White. Dillian White is the one who cannot be forgotten. Dillian White is the one who realistically cannot be pushed aside because he is the one who has fought his way up, consistently fought, top 10 challengers and tough fights 50 50 fights let's remember that Dillian White has constantly done that put it all on the line I mean the WBC didn't need a reason to not give him the shot by him losing by him I mean something else happening so losing a fight would mean that Dillian White would never get a WBC world title shot because as I said, they did not need a reason to not give him a shot. He's been winning. He's been number one. He's continuously done what is asked of him by the WBC. Yet still, they did not give him a shot. He's done everything they asked of him. He still did not get that world title opportunity that he was promised. He's been number one for a thousand days. And if you want proof that Dillian White has constantly been pushed aside by the WBC, look at what happened after the Rivas fight. And the WBC took action against him even though they do not recognise UCAD. They recognise VADA. No problems with VADA test for Dillian White. Then also, Dillian White number one, Dominic Brazil number four. Who do they call as mandatory? The number four challenger, Dominic Brazil. So that just proves that the WBC have constantly pushed Dillian White aside, made him wait, so they did not need an opportunity and a reason to not give him a world title shot, him losing would have made that happen. And he did not lose. But he still consistently fought 50-50 fights, gave value for money, and has waited patiently for his opportunity. That is why it must happen for Dillian White. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Anthony Joshua has revealed that Tyson Fury asked him about Alexander Usyk and his response was, we do not need to worry about Alexander Usyk. Could that possibly mean we are one fight away 
from undisputed happening. It could seem that way, given the context and the conversation between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.